Hello. For this work problem, uh, we've got a car as shown here. So this car has a weight of 1,500 pounds. Uh, and the center of mass is four feet behind the front wheels and three feet in front of the rear wheels. So for this problem, we're asked to analyze this car. And assuming it's at a stop, we're going to um, <clears throat> determine the normal forces that exist at the front wheels and at the rear wheels of this car. So first thing we have to do, this is an equilibrium problem. Uh, we're going to have uh, a 2D body in equilibrium. Uh, and this is going to be a uh, non-concurrent force system. So we've got an extended body. Uh, the weight is going to be going down, and the normal forces are all going to be going up. So it's not concurrent. We have to worry about the moments here. So first thing in any equilibrium problem is to draw out the free body diagram. So if I go ahead and draw out this car, I'm going to separate it from the background. So in this case, I've removed the road itself. Uh, and I'm going to draw in all of my forces. So I know that I've got a known force, a known weight force of 1,500 pounds. And I'm going to have a normal force at the front wheel. It's going to be going straight up. Uh, and in this case, I'll draw in my axes, x, y. x is going to be horizontal, y is going to be vertical. So I've got ff, and that's back wheels. I've got f, b, for back. So now I've got my free body diagram. It might also be helpful, since we're dealing with moments, to draw in some of these, um, some of these lengths. So I've got four feet, right there, and I've got three feet in the back. All right, so now that I've got my free body diagram, I need to start drawing out my uh, equations of equilibrium. So I'm going to have three equations of equilibrium in this case. Um, I'm going to have sum of forces in the x, sum of forces in the y, and since this is an extended body, I'm going to have the sum of moments about some point. So let's start with sum of forces in the x. So in the x, I have, well, nothing. Uh, FF, FB, and this 1,500 pound force are all in the y direction. So in the x direction, I simply have the equation 0 equals 0 which is true, but not terribly helpful. So let, next, let's go on to sum of forces in the y direction. And so here I've got some more information that I can work with. So I've got FF, FB, those are both positive. And then the negative force is this 1,500 pound force down. All right, so now I do my sum of moments equation, and I need to pick a point that I'm going to take all these uh, moments about. So in this case, I'm going to go ahead and use the center of gravity. I'm going to call that point G. So I'm taking all the moments about point G. Uh, and in this case, uh, I've got three possible forces that could cause a moment. Uh, this 1,500 pound force actually since it's acting through point E, force times distance, distance is zero, so that's going to exert no moment. Uh, FF is going to exert a negative moment, so it's four feet times force times distance, so FF times four. Uh, and I use the right hand rule, and it's going into the board, so that's a negative moment, so negative four feet times FF. Uh, and this back wheel, the normal force there, so FB, uh, it's going to be a three feet, so distance times FB, and it's going to be cause a positive rotation, so that would be um, a positive moment, so plus three feet times FB, 
and the sum of the moments has to be equal to zero. So now I've got two equa or three equations, but this first equation is kind of not really that useful. Uh, and I've got FF and FB, two equations, two unknowns. I should be able to solve this. So <clears throat> I'm going to start with the moment equation. So if I rearrange this, I get um, four times FF equals three times FB. Or FB is going to be equal to three quarters of, I'm sorry, I this wrong, FF is going to be equal to three quarters FB. So I can use this substitution in this top equation here. So rather than FF plus FB, I'm going to do um, 3 quarters FB plus FB minus 1,500 will be equal to 0. Push this aside, give myself a little more room. If I bring this up over here, I'm going to have 1.75 FB equals 1,500. Solve that out. FB uh, will end up being equal to 857.14. And the units for this, uh, it's going to be units of force, it's going to be pounds. So there we go, there's our normal force in the back. Now we have to find the normal force in the front. Uh, I can use this equation here, so FF equals 3 quarters times FB. Uh, this is FB, I just bring that down here. And I got FF being equal to um, 642.86. And the units, again, are going to be pounds. So with that, I've solved for my two normal forces, normal forces in the back, and normal forces in the front. Uh, so with that, we've solved our problem. Uh, thank you for watching, and I hope to see you again.